It's always an exciting moment when a project that you've been working on for, in this case, about two years, finally comes to fruition. The most exciting moment of all is when your advanced copies arrive in the post and you open it and there'll be a beautiful coloured shiny cover saying Sacred Choruses, edited by me, John Rutter. Of course, one of the great pleasures of being an anthologist is the power it gives you. It's rather like throwing a party where you um, have a blank sheet of paper and you say, well, who am I going to invite? And I must say that what I always like is a social gathering where my old friends are there, but a sprinkling of new friends as well. And I am walking around the guests and somebody I've known for many years, I have a chat to them and I remember exactly why I was drawn to them in the first place. And that's how it is with an anthology. You haven't got room for everybody. Um, a book is like a room that only has capacity for so many. And you have to choose. And you have to not only actually, um, if you're throwing a party, say, well, who would I get on with? But you want guests that would sort of complement one another and not all be the same. Something that uh, always has been a problem when I've had to devise concert programmes is where can I find maybe a 10 minute piece that will just go with the main piece I'm doing. See, for example, the Vivaldi Gloria lasts about 25-30 minutes. It's not quite long enough for half a programme. But there are so many lovely pieces that people might not know that you could put with that and just give you another 10 or 15 minutes. That's been a feature of the book. There are something like half a dozen pieces in the book that are longer than just a four or five minute piece and which you could imaginatively pair with some well-known piece that you might perhaps be doing. But at the same time, the shorter favourites are there. Um, where would we be without Brahms? Is how lovely are thy dwellings? I mean, it's, I had it at my, at my wedding and uh, I've loved it ever since. So um, I hope as people browse through it, they'll both say, oh gosh, well, I'm glad that's in there. And I hope they might also say, oh, I didn't know that one.